Holy crap, a doodles, guys. Yeah. Can you believe it? <laughs> Welcome to our show, where we measure success in memories made and knowledge gained, not inches scored. And our goal is to learn and share tips that help us all become better outdoorsmen and women. Along the way, we'll have some laughs and record new experiences as we promote our passion for the great outdoors. This is Total Outdoor Pursuit. All right, so we're gonna be doing a trial run here. This is the CZ USA 12 gauge shotgun. It's the 1012. Now this thing is sweet here. It's in bottomland mossy oak camo. Great for turkey hunting, stuff like that. And we're gonna put it to the test tomorrow with a little bit of waterfowl hunting. We got these from Nate from Gun Zone Deals, sweet guns, and he said, CZ makes an awesome gun, but a lot of people don't know about it because it's not the names that have been around for a long, long time around here. He said, put it to the test, tell us what you think and he thinks we're gonna like it, so we're excited to give it a try. We're gonna do a little bit of play shooting here and see what we think. We're gonna be shooting size seven shot, and it's a company called Global Ordnance. You know, there's a lot of people right now struggling to get shells, ammo, stuff like that, and they're able to get shells when everybody else is having a hard time because they have a much wider array of areas they can actually get these shells in from. We hit this right here. That's with one shell in. That's gonna just run it in. Run it straight in. You can see it's in there. So, and just load your other two in. Let me grab an extra couple shells here. And all set. Nice. All right, so we're gonna try and set this up so it's as close to the duck hunting situation that we're anticipating tomorrow. Bird shooting across quick. We got them coming from a long ways over there, shooting across us more, rather than just straight away from us. Those should be gimme shots. The hard ones are when they're cruising, so. Ready? Take them. There you go. Nice. These are pretty sweet, smooth firing guns here, man. Where are they? Yeah, I like them. That's nice. You know, not being used to Shooting a semi-auto, <laughs> I've always used a pump. Being able to just aim and pull, that's a completely yeah. different situation. That's a game changer right there. I just need to slow down a little bit. There you, go. you see him and they're moving so fast that you kind of feel like you have to do everything so quick. Right. When I'm doing stuff fast, I'm not hitting them. When I slow down and say, take your time, get in front of it, then it's working better. I did way less aim in there. I'm keeping both eyes open. I'm focusing on the, the actual clay, not my barrel. Let's see if that does any better. Hang on. There you go. Nice. The people who close their eyes dream about killing ducks. <laughs> I'm keeping my eyes open this time. Right. Both of them. There you go. There you go. I don't know why that makes a difference, but it does. Fire in the hole. Gun's clear. Safety's on. All right, so there we go. The CZ 1012, CZ USA. Check them out. GunZoneDeals.com sells these. And like Nate said, 
you know, it's a name that not a lot of people are horribly familiar with right now. There's tons of people that know about them and shoot them and stuff, competitions and everything, but a lot of people really don't think of it when they're thinking about like the huge big names that have been around forever. So CZ1012, this thing shoots really sweet and smooth. What'd you think? Yeah, I thought it was, a, it was an excellent gun compared to, you know, I, I'd say it holds right up with your bigger name brands that, you know, everybody usually thinks of when, uh, when they go out hunting for, uh, for a firearm. Yeah, now, I think uh, something about your gun though must be set up a little bit better because you were hitting them over and over and I kept missing them. So maybe we can trade guns for tomorrow? Uh, maybe. So you may find out it's not the gun. So. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens when there's ducks in front of us tomorrow. Tell us what we're doing. Where are we? What's going on? <laughs> right here hunting Donald. <laughs> Donald. Donald Duck. Down, down here at the bayou. Out here in our public hunting ground trying to lay the hammer down on some ducks. But... At least my tea's warm though in the thermos. I'll tell yeah. you that. Tea? Isn't that what English people drink? Oh yeah. Well, I am proper. Dude, we should get one of these. Right to our right there, there's birds kind of cupping on us. Uh, 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 not yet. Look at that, coming right into those guys. Something's got to take a line on us. Out to the right here, we got two dropping. They're looking friendly. More ducks out in front. See that big swirl back there? Yeah. These ones put the brakes on a little bit when they came over us. Right down the chute to our left here. Coming back from our right. Is that you shutting off and on these cameras? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I've like, there's been times I'm holding this and I feel it vibrate. I'm like, yeah. my phone's in my mm -hmm. pocket. What the hell? You get a little excited. <laughs> they're landing behind that other blind in, in this back channel. Yeah, they're right, going right into them. <laughs> right into them. Oh, of they're back up again. A whole bunch of birds are out. <laughs> Biscuits and gravy. It's coming down the channel. Is he curling? He's still up. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Every time we have something heading our way. That was so fun. I thought for sure we had that one. I'm going to kayak around here as fast as I can once this is over and see if I can find any dead ducks. Somebody forgot. Somebody missed. The wind's shifted now, so they're probably going to be coming this way. Look at this single to our right here, guys. He's locked and loaded all the way out there. Yep. It's not on this. <sighs> <laughs> no one's shooting over here, guys. Hey, is this pointed at you, Danny? Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's flashing, Marty, I know. So, so 800 times it's flashing. It's on. <laughs> 
Yes, it's on still. Give it, give us a summary of, of our hunt today, if you don't mind. This is a typical Indiana hunt. Lots and lots of birds, just in someone else's face, not ours. <laughs> What's your feelings on this hunt? Uh, that's my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> We got like 20 minutes left and just can't. He's almost sky busting range for us at this point. <laughs> this has been the most awesomest worst hunt ever. <laughs> <laughs> coming behind guys spin around spin around he's coming over us we're shooting him, Got him. nice <laughs> shot dude nice shot <laughs> you got him right he's, good, he's, he's dead he's down okay everybody on safe i'm on safe holy crap holy crap a doodles guys yeah. can you believe it <laughs> we got a duck we got a duck thanks for spooking him down there guys. <laughs> we, we need to clean up <laughs> Good shot, man. By God, I don't even know what to say about that. I'm the winner. <laughs> all that practicing, all that practicing paid off. We sat here nice all shot, morning nice. watching birds fly everywhere, watching birds drop out of the sky from hunters everywhere. Boy, some people had a good hunt out here. We had a good show. We'll put it that way. We got to watch hey, a lot of people have a good hunt. Oh, we got more coming. All right, maybe we can get two. We got 10 minutes left. Well, that wasn't the way we thought this hunt would go, but hey, it was a heck of a lot of fun, and Chris managed to get a bird. A bird. That's pretty good. Danny let some steel fly. I unloaded. It was fun. <laughs> what I want to know is, Chris, you're going to cook that bird and have us over for dinner, right? Appetizer. Uh, appetizer, maybe. Mm. Got any bluegill left from the summer? I didn't catch any bluegill in the summer. <laughs> the 11th hour, literally like 10 minutes left of shooting. One duck. I don't even care that it was me that got it. It could have been any of you guys that gotten it. I've been happy about it. So that's what we came out here for. Thankful for this one and I'll uh, find something interesting to, to cook up with it. Not sure yet, but something.